Okay, this video is going to be how to write Braille, or at least a way to remember it. I'm going to focus on the first ten letters. They look like that. Or I'm going to focus on the first ten numbers, I guess you could say, the first ten digits, because they're actually the same. So, okay. <clears throat> Basically, Braille is written like this. You've got these six dots, and depending upon the combination of dots that you fill in, it will represent a digit. Now, I'm no expert on this, I'm just learning, but I'm going to come, teach you the, um, the mnemonic that I, I came up with that helps me remember the first ten letters. Okay, this first one is easy. It's just a dot up here, and that's one, or A. The next one is two dots. Uh, I, should, I should do it like this. Let me start over. Two dots, and that's two, or B. Next one is uh, C, or three, and that's two dots up here. You've just got to remember that. For me, it's easy to remember that the dots go down, you know, because it's in the same column. See? And this one, for some reason, it goes to the right. Anyway, just remember it. It's not too hard. Next one is D. Now, to make sure that I didn't confuse this, what I focused on was the fact that these three dots kind of look like um, kind of look like part of a D. Do you see it? Anyway, that made it easy for me to remember. You just focus on this part up here. That uh, it kind of looks like the upper right hand um, corner of a D. So that's D or fur. Five is um, <clears throat> two dots. They look like this. Just think about how, um, just make a uh, connection to the previous uh, character that we just learned. You see this? Um, just think about a diagonal line going from here to here, and then you remember the next one. And that's, that's 5E. Okay, so the next one is uh, 6. 6 looks like this. Um, the reason why that it's easy to remember is you just focus on the F shape. Doesn't it kind of look like an F? You see it? The first stroke of an F? Maybe not, but... Yeah, just focus on this part up here and then you... It's like the upper left hand uh, corner of a box. That's what you have up here. F. Okay, so then the next one is... <clears throat> 7. 7, it's just for squares. I didn't come up with a system for that because I thought it was pretty unusual. I mean, you can remember, right? That's uh, E. Next one is G. Uh, I'm sorry, that was G. Um, oh, oh yeah, let, let me point out, if you really are having problems with this, uh, you can just remember it as being the top part of a G. See? It forms a lower box, lower square. Anyway, okay, so, then the, so the next one is H. H looks like this. See it? And that's 8, or H. And uh, I just thought it looked like part of an H. See? This top part here. And then the bottom is obviously left out, just like here, here, or... Um, yeah. Okay. Nine. Nine looks like this. I'm sorry. <laughs> looks like this. And that's, uh, that's an I. So anyway, um, it, it kind of looks like the next character, which we're going to get into. It looks, um, it's kind of got that diagonal thing going that we're gonna that you know existed up there. Next character is there is going to be like uh, like this. See, so that you can see this kind of like it's going to be diagonal, just like how uh, <clears throat> this was diagonal, like this up here. Anyway, 
if you've studied Chinese or Japanese, it's it's kind of easy to remember because the second stroke of Ju, it's um, it's got the same diagonal thing, see? Or you can just think about how it uses the third tone, and and the third tone rises at the end. See, Ju, anyway. Or whatever. I'm not good with the Chinese, but you get the idea. Anyway, ten. Ten is. Uh, it looks like this. See? And it looks like a J. You see it? And that's zero. Or ten. Anyway, whenever you write a number, no matter what the number is, uh, focus on the fact that <clears throat> of these six uh, dots, the bottom two will never be used with the first ten braille or the first uh, uh, ten digits. That makes it a lot easier to remember these numbers. See? Take a look. These two bottom uh, things will never be used. See, it's completely blank. Um, whenever you write a number, you also put this uh, little backwards uh, shape before it. it looks like a backwards arrow. I've always thought it looked like a Tetris block. Anyway, you always put that before the number. For instance, if you want to write 1, you do this. And that would be 1. See? It's basically equivalent to number 1. Once you know Braille, you can probably create some codes and people won't have any clue what language you're writing it in. That's why uh, that's why I was so attracted to this in the first place. I thought it would be kind of cool. So this would be number uh, 6. And you get the idea. So I guess writing 10 would probably be like this. Mm, let's see. Now, I haven't really taught myself any Braille, but I'm assuming that, that would be 10. So anyway, I hope that you found this video interesting. There's probably someone who knows the system a lot better and can come up with a lot better system to teach you this, but this is what works for me, and thanks for watching.